What's up ladies and gentlemen, Ross the Boss coming at you with an all new Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. We are assisting the Commonwealth in the Commonwealth Conquest of Muscovy. And we are sending up 36,000 troops as we speak. We have a variety of countries that hate me as always. Looking at our coalition map mode, we have Morocco, Tunisia, Funj, Sindh, Persia, and Delhi. We can only hope that the rest of these provinces break away from this coalition. And as we speak, more and more join against us. We might need to go ahead and utilize this money and possibly pump out more uh, units as quickly as we can. We have three units down here that could become a new army on their own. But I think we will delete them for now. Now, looking at Tunisia, we may want to go ahead and possibly get a new fabrication on them sometime soon. So we will build up our spy network. If they do somehow make their way out of this coalition, we are going to declare war on them. We are essentially a warmonger. However, uh, there is definitely... 100% going to be some sort of war here in the future. So we have the Timurids that don't necessarily exist anymore. We have Persia, Sindh. Everybody is in a coalition against me except for Mawa. And that is about it. I don't even think Hungary will be joining in because they cannot do so until the year 1616. Five more years. Military access from Castile. Sure, why not? Let's fabricate on Ethiopia. And we can't do that just yet. Part of me wants to go ahead and also unlock a little bit stronger castles. We have about half of our entire military down here in the east. No guy entering into the coalition. What I really need to do is secure another alliance. Possibly with Great Britain. We are going to ask for an alliance... And then possibly with Brandenburg. Trying to break away this coalition as quickly as we can. Royal marriage from Great Britain. I don't think I'm going to do that. And we want Brandenburg as an alliance. Looks like we have completed reduce overextension. Getting an alliance from Brandenburg. And for what it's worth, we have Great Britain, Brandenburg, the Commonwealth, all on our side. Though this will be very far away for most people. It shouldn't be too hard to handle. No mission selected. We can create an army for our nation. It looks like we need 75% of our entire force limit. Which would be almost 200,000 troops. We really just don't have the money for that. Obviously, because our forts are costing so much, we are rooting out corruption, and a lot of it is going towards missionaries. Let us find a few estates where we can give to the clergy and the Umera. Clergy and Umera, and I believe one or two of these should be fine. Maybe not. We need to give to the clergy once again. What about Cyprus? We'll give you to the clergy. And we should be good to go. That was a very powerful province. Okay, well not much we can do except try to wait out this coalition. We could declare war on a country like Ethiopia. They are only allied with Kaffa. And then of course the rest of the coalition will join in. But if we go ahead and get another ally... I'm fairly certain that the issue here will eventually dissipate. Morocco, we can't do anything for you for now. We could improve relations. And we are once again sending our missionaries to do their jobs. Axum is not Coptic. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it is. It is Sunni. That's odd. Do we still have all of these? We don't have legitimized government. That needs to change. 
Is Axum here? No. We can't change you until 1619, so seven more years. But we could sure as heck try to change everybody else. Sending in our missionaries. Also making money every single day from what it's worth. Recalling our diplomat from Great Britain. And all we really need are just a few countries to leave the coalition. Uh, maybe, yes, no way Sind is going to leave. No way Delhi is going to... Well, Delhi might leave. Let's uh, improve relations with Delhi. Get them to positive 50. If they'll leave, I'm sure the dominoes will begin to fall. A traveling minstrel, let us get another stability. And I think for what we're going to do is we're obviously we're trying to uh, kill out a lot of this aggressive expansion. And I think the best way to do that would obviously be to take over the countries that have high aggressive expansion, but then also, uh, you know, taking over and releasing a variety of other countries that do not. Now, I believe we're going to be declaring on either Tunisia or Persia next. And Ajaran joining into the coalition, maybe even Melindi joining in as well. Let us fabricate a claim on the capital of Bizet, Bizerte. Now, I'm a little concerned that we might have to fight off this uh, coalition. Could I possibly befriend M Milan? What about Savoy? I could get Savoy as an ally. But what about Denmark? Denmark hates me. Negative a thousand. Bamanis, we that they are certainly an option. Let's get them as well. Hopefully the rest of these coalitions will fall soon enough. Looks like we're still annexing Najid, but we have stopped for some reason. We don't know why we've stopped. Are they disloyal? Is that why? And now I believe on the first it should go ahead and resume. Now if we were to, to declare war on Persia, what exactly would that look like? Who would help us? Looks like not a single ally would help us out. A little unfortunate, but we haven't been in an alliance long enough. Eighty-seven point three percent. For what it's worth, our annexation should be completed in about two months, and then we could probably go ahead and delete a bunch of these forts because they don't necessarily matter. Let us improve relations with Pasai. The Treaty of Kasi Sirin. We could send an envoy to Persia. Uh, there will be no treaty at all. I am a world conqueror. Now, it looks like we are still going strong against Muscovy. And we can move troops in. Though it might just take some time. Melindy has even entered into the coalition. Let's unlock our diplomatic core. So now all of our diplomatic technology will be fairly and substantially cheaper. Integration of Najid. We now own most of Arabia. We have a free light ship that we need to put to good use. All right, and finding Malwa, or better yet, I believe it was Delhi. They are in a war, but I would like to send them a gift. Try to get positive 25. If I send them some money, they should leave this coalition. <laughs> should leave. Now that they love me, they are very friendly. Kind of would be nice to be get an alliance with them, but I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, 
And it might be a good idea to start building up our spy network here in Persia. Royal marriage from Brandenburg, I don't think so. Only because I really don't want to... Um, well, you know what? I do have the ability to break royal marriages because I have diplomatic ideas. Which is kind of nice. <laughs> I just wish this coalition would end. Uh, our maximum manpower is 186,000. I think because we're going to be playing defensive, let's bring our army maintenance down just a little bit, but also retreat somewhat back to our lands in Arabia. The rest of our units should not be on the front lines, and it looks like they are. Obviously, we're in a war, but we need to conserve as much money as possible. We do have two navies of 29 and 28. We could bump these up to 30 galleys and 30. But you know what? We are ready. We're very close to our naval force limit. And we know what? We're only gaining about 24 ducats every month. Let's continue on converting more and more provinces to Coptic. I really wish there were other provinces I could try to conquer right now. Though there really aren't. Even these smaller countries that I don't like don't, uh, don't like me very much. 1623 is when Adal will come after me. And here we are. Harar has left the coalition. Morocco has left. Kiva, Tunis. Countries are going to begin to fall. Which is exactly what we want. And just like that, bringing all of our forces over to Tunisia. Now, Tunisia here is allied to Morocco. Let's get the rest of our units up and over. Now, I believe everybody is moving except you and except you. So you need to come over and assist. And as soon as we can, these 29 ships will move over, and these 28. We are still fabricating. The Funj has left the coalition against us. We don't really need an Inquisitor anymore. The first circumnavigation has occurred of uh, Castile, I believe it was. Or, yep, Castile, not Spain. Let us now go into development once again. And possibly get a claim on Kef. And we'll see exactly what this looks like. Tunis here has 197 aggressive expansion. So hopefully the rest of our forces will make it over in time. Now while all of these other provinces uh, dissipate over time... We'll probably try our best to keep this aggressive expansion at bay. Not really sure the best way to do that. All 36,000 troops will move in to Tunis here. As the coalition dies, we are hoping Delhi and Sindh won't join in. But you know what? There's really nothing we can do about Sindh. But we could try to prevent Malwa and maybe even Kazakh from joining in against us. Let's improve relations with you. You would think Delhi would leave by now. And we can't do anything about Kazan. And now the rest of our troops are going to be making it in over time. About to declare war for Bizerte. Morocco will not be assisting. And a disagreeing advisor. Uh, the diplomat will pass. So we will obviously uh, just lose some prestige. Now we're going to try to do everything in our power to get Morocco to still like us. And also, when we get a free diplomat, we'll take a look at everything offered. On the 7th of August... 
can I don't think this is possible at all, but I'm gonna try to take every province. Eh, it might be. No, not at all. 132 aggressive expansion. Hungary is going to be upset. Kiva. And a lot of other countries that uh, still don't really matter. Ah, it looks like a few do matter. What if I release countries like Plemenkin and Algiers? Or better yet, let's reduce the cheaper ones so that way we know for a fact we'll get them. And then take countries along the border. Like so. And then 98 aggressive expansion. Though Hungary is still on the list and that is a little sad. At least for me. What if I did the weakest ones? We have 26%, 5%, and 13%. And then we go something like this. 69. This is actually exactly what we're going to do. Looks like Hungary is still going to be upset no matter what. But Tunisia won't be on here. And it looks like Morocco. Uh, they will be upset. Nothing I can do. Except maybe... Um, possibly donate them some money to keep them on our side. And I might just do that. Let's send them a gift. <laughs> there goes all of our treasury. 300 ducats. And we now have positive 52 relations. More and more troops will be joining in. We have finally conquered Bizerte. And now going after Kef. I believe our next war will be against Persia. And if we play our cards right, we could probably get Mzab, Tugart, and maybe this province as well. But that means possibly revoking some alliances. Our siege of Kef has gone very well. You now need to move here. You need to move here. You here. And it looks like Tunis doesn't have any allies, so that means we are going to roll over anyone and everything. And it looks like all that's left is maybe one more actual province until the rest of these come around over time. Can we improve relations with a variety of countries? Let's improve relations with Malwa. Once again, declining power of the Umera. And can we improve relations with Melindi? We could, but not really by a lot. I'm hoping they'll uh, do away with this coalition. And even, well, Madagascar isn't too upset. Delhi has left the coalition as expected. You need to move here. You need to move here. I could move over this entire fleet. So that way everybody will do their jobs. Our ports will... We will blockade the enemy ports. Let's start claiming this last province for now. Sindh has left the coalition. And all that's really left are just a few minor countries. Which is really good news. And I'm wondering if I break my alliance with a few of these countries, how upset would they be? You know, Great Britain obviously first and then Brandenburg. They'd probably be fairly upset. Now, I don't think I actually have any real vassals rather than Croatia. And I don't think I can actually claim Croatia anytime soon. Uh, not, well, you know what? Yes, I can. Let's improve relations. And then after this war, we'll start our annexation of Croatia. Croatia. 
recalling diplomats left and right. We have two that we could send on their way. We could improve relations with Castile, and I think we will. Morocco is pretty much already improved. And all of these units, 72,000 troops, are going to collapse in when we can. Looks like another country left the coalition. It was no guy. A blockade. We don't want to lose any admin. So I will definitely don't mind the unrest. We have full manpower, nothing much that the enemy can do. And now collapsing on all of Tunisia to destroy their entire military. And they are going to get absolutely shredded. As expected, they have lost their entire military in one battle. You go here, you go here, you here, and you over here. And as such, let us see exactly how much aggressive expansion is going to arise. Not much, gonna take all of their money, which isn't much either. And we'll end it as we can. Okay, so now what we need to do is get algae, ah, protectorates, I don't like that. But we might be able to, they don't cost anything. Let's establish some protectorates. I have no diplomats to send. And we're basically just going to seize their land. Nothing we can't handle though. All of you need to make your way over to Persia now. And now that we have two protectorates, we need to go to Algiers. Well, better get Tugart first. Steal some of their land. And steal their other province. So we just got two new provinces. I believe it was three development and three development, so absolute garbage, but it was free. And now we go to Algiers, seize land. We want Dara. And we also want Titieri. Okay, we got four development and 12. So in total, we got about 22 development for free from those protectorates. And I wonder, um, we can't necessarily declare war. Aggressive expansion impact for, 20, uh, for 10 years. Let's replace our diplomats. A little sad news. The rest of our navies can head back to Greece and head back to Crete, get repaired. And it looks like we are going to be putting a cut in this episode. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you in our next adventure.